The early European explorers of Australia were amused by the sight of kangaroos. British explorer James Cook commented that kangaroos bears no resemblance to any European animal he ever saw. No wonder in this part of the world, extraordinary patterns of life existed because of its isolated existence as an island. Kangaroos were an amazing oddity for the visitors to Australia. The British settlers, when returned back home took their kangaroo stories with them, which caught the imagination of the people of Britain. Kangaroos were catching the imagination of Londoners in the late 1700s and was fast becoming a popular attraction. Making good the opportunity, parks and zoos in Britain started breeding these marsupials. But early British settlers in Australia were making a meal of these wonderful animals when they experienced food shortages. Eating kangaroo always represented poverty for Australians. Fortunately, kangaroo meat was never considered as a delicacy by the settlers and remained a hard time stomach filler. Today, Australia exports kangaroo meat to more than 55 countries. Kangaroo meat contains very little saturated fat relative to other meats and is high in protein, zinc and iron. But kangaroos were killed for their skin, which the British considered as good for making boots. The Australian farmers were witnessing a different face of these marsupials. They damaged the fences and destroyed the crops. The farmers in Australia considered kangaroos as a pest. In the 1880s, all colonies of Australia passed a legislation to eradicate kangaroos. Between 1887 and 1907, 8 million kangaroos and wallaroos killed for bounties in Queensland. Between 1883 and 1920, 3 million betongs and potaroos were killed for bounties. All these species were nearly wiped out. Three of these species are now extinct. The bad time for kangaroos were gradually disappearing. Kangaroos received the first official recognition as a national symbol when it was included in the coat of arms by the new federal government in 1908. As Australia's prominence as an independent nation enhanced over the years, kangaroos were evolving as a symbol of Australianness. Kangaroos started making their entry into the popular media of that time. The word kangaroo comes from the Aboriginal Gugu Yimitha people's word for the grey kangaroo. The word was first recorded as kangaroo or kangaroo in 1770 by British explorer James Cook. The kangaroo superfamily consists of two family groups. Kangaroos, wallabies, pedemolins and tree kangaroos make up one family, while rat kangaroos, betongs and potaroos make up the other. There are 45 species of kangaroos and wallabies. Kangaroo, wallaby and wallaroos refers to the paraphyletic grouping of the kangaroo species. They are distinguished according to size. The largest is kangaroo, the smallest are generally called wallabies, and the intermediate are called wallaroos. Kangaroos and wallabies are marsupials that belong to a small group of animals called macropods. They are only found naturally in Australia and Papua New Guinea. Most macropods have hind legs larger than their forelimbs, large hind feet, and long muscular tails which they use for balance. The word macropod actually means big foot. Kangaroos and wallabies are most active at night, dusk and dawn. A male kangaroo is called a buck, boomer, or jack and a female is referred to as a doe, flyer, or jill. A group of kangaroos, usually ten or more roos, is known as a mob, troop, or court. Kangaroos are a matriarchal society. Doe will always stay with their matriarchal bloodlines. If they are separated from that line they will become solitary. Bucks will stay with their mothers until they are three to four years of age, and then go and find their own mob away from the genetic lines of their mother. The four species commonly referred to as kangaroos are the red kangaroo, the eastern grey kangaroo, the western grey kangaroo, and the antilopine kangaroo. The kangaroo is an herbivore, though its diet varies according to species. The animal has a chambered stomach, similar to that of cows, to help with the digestion process. A kangaroo can survive for long periods without drinking water, hydrated by the moisture in the vegetation it consumes. 
A kangaroo is unable to walk backwards. Interesting facts about kangaroos. Kangaroos are the largest marsupials on earth. A red kangaroo can stand more than 1.6 meters tall and weigh 82 kilograms. Eastern grey kangaroos can be even taller, with some adult males reaching nearly 2.1 meters. Most kangaroos are left-handed. Researchers have found that red kangaroos, eastern greys, and red-necked wallabies are primarily left-handed, using left hand for tasks such as grooming and eating, about 95% of the time. Their hands also seem to be specialized for different types of work, with kangaroos typically using their left hand for precision and their right for strength. Some kangaroos can hop 25 feet. A red kangaroo can hop about 1.8 meters off the ground and cover 8 meters in a single bound. Joeys can go dormant until the pouch is vacant. After about five weeks of gestation period, mother kangaroo gives birth to a single baby known as Joey, which is no larger than a grape. The newborn crawl to the mother's pouch after birth. The Joe lives in the pouch for several months as it continues to grow. The mother kangaroo, if gets pregnant while the Joe is still at the pouch, the new growing embryo enters a dormant state until the pouch is vacant. Once the older sibling leaves the pouch, Mother's body will send hormonal signals to resume the younger Joe's development. There are white kangaroos and tree kangaroos. Rarely, a kangaroo mother gives birth to white kangaroos. Albinism or albino is a congenital disorder demonstrated physically through a partial or total lack of pigment in the skin, hair and eyes. This is caused by a defect in the enzymes involved in the production of melanin due to a genetic mutation. Tree kangaroos inhabit the lowland and mountainous rainforests of Papua New Guinea, Indonesia, and the far north of Queensland, Australia. Living up in the foliage, these species look like a cross between a kangaroo and a lemur. 